Are you struggling with strength, agility, and endurance during your paddle sports? We'll try out these two exercises to help you with that. For three more exercises and so much more content, make sure you check us out and become a member on Patreon. This is an L-sit alternating band row. Whoa, so D. Hang on. <laughs> Whoa. Worry. Whoa, Jess. <laughs> This is an L-sit alternating band row, and Jess has her band set up looped around her feet. You can always use shoes to secure it a little bit better. So we're gonna be in an L-sit position, similar to what we were just doing, with our ribs stacked over the hips. And just like Jess has done, she's softened the knees a little bit to, to give her a little bit more range of motion in the hips. So if you have tight hamstrings, this is a great fix, or you can sit on a block or cushion. So we're sitting nice and tall. <laughs> So one at a time, we're gonna set the shoulder blade back on one side and pull the elbow to follow. As we're pulling that band back with a straight wrist, we're allowing the spine to rotate toward that side. So this is gonna allow us to use our muscles that move the arms, but also our muscles that rotate the torso. So this is getting our back and core to work together so that we can have nice smooth movement when we're out and about paddling but we never wanna forget that initial movement from the scapula to make sure we're setting and stabilizing our shoulders. And then at the end of the movement, we always let the shoulder blade draw forward, getting a great stretch between those shoulder blades. Woo woo! Here's our single leg toss and catch. This is a super fun exercise and great to play with a friend. And not only is it fun, but it's very valuable for your stability. So we're gonna start in our single leg stance position, building it from the ground up. So we want spread toes and the arch lifted on the foot, ankle is straight, and that goes right up to the hip where the hips are level and squared up with the shoulders and our core is on. So now we start tossing that ball around. So yes, this is gonna be great for building your reflexes and adapting to anything that comes at you. But most of all, this is building resilience and strength in your foot and ankle, which is really important when you're doing paddle boarding. You wanna have that balance and you wanna be able to take whatever the water throws at you. So this is gonna help you do that. Whoa, where'd the ball go? Even better if you can do this on your paddleboard and play catch with somebody, that's gonna look pretty impressive. So if, no, if you have no other reason to do this exercise, that's the reason to look awesome when you're paddleboarding. Some pretty great balance, Jess. <laughs> do a lot of paddleboarding. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our video today on paddle sports. If you want more, make sure you check us out on Patreon and on social media. 